Hi guys, today we're going to talk about tendonitis, specifically patellar tendonitis, we have elbow tendonitis, wrist tendonitis, all types of tendonitis are solved by doing the same thing. So stick around and I'll tell you exactly what it is. Most people pick up tendonitis, well not pick it up, but it's not something you can pick up at the shops. But most people get tendonitis because they only focus on doing the things they like to do. Which is perfectly fine because that is the way we naturally are. We're not going to do something we find boring or we're crap at or we just don't like to do. But they have to treat the body like a full working machine. So for example, your car, you wouldn't look after the seats, you wouldn't look after the paint, the interior and everything but not look after the engine and you wouldn't let the engine just go to rot, would you? Because it wouldn't go anywhere. Your body's the same thing. Tendonitis is generally caused because they don't treat joints like joints. So you won't take your joint through its full range of motion. So the way to combat tendonitis and get rid of tendonitis is to take your joint through its full controlled range of motion. So that's by doing things called CARs, Controlled Articular Rotations. It's just a fancy way of saying, move your joints in the ranges that you've got under control. That's all it is, and that will fix your tendonitis. So we'll do, we'll do an elbow and a wrist uh, CAR. The rest can be found on our YouTube channel, and you can work your way through them, depending on where you've got it. So for the elbow, all we're gonna do is we're gonna stand, nice neutral position, feet on their hips, nice and relaxed, and your arm, so we're gonna do the right arm, is nice and straight here. Palm pointing backwards, and we're just gonna take it up in front of us. Twist the arm, so the palm does a full 180, and then take it out. and back to the start position. So we'll reverse it, we'll go up, palm down, and then it starts to turn, does the full 180, and back to the start position. So that's a version of an elbow CAR. There's loads of versions you can do, but it's important that all the versions take the joint through flexion, extension, and rotation, okay? That's the three main movements that you need to get, okay? The next one we'll do is wrist, for example. Okay, we're like this, and all you do is wrist pushes up, so the knuckles and the elbow should stay exactly where they are, but the wrist goes up, and then it goes out to the side, then it goes down to the bottom, and out to the side again, and back up. So to reverse that, again, that's taking it through flexion, extension, and rotation. That's the three main points you need to hit. Make sure you're going for the full range of motion. Again, as I say, it's easily searchable on YouTube for all the other joints. You should be doing controlled articular rotations quite regularly, especially if you do suffer from tendonitis.